Hi, so I'm going to talk to you about why music is important to me. Um, I find it important because there is most of the time a tune running on a loop um, in my head and I'm not surprised by that because music's all around us whether or not you notice it. We've got it in TV programs and films to help help the um, viewer know what emotions they should be feeling. It's in adverts and there's a whole section of society dedicated to making, producing and selling music. I mean, how often do you notice the music around you? Do you notice it? We've got happy times like funeral, um, sorry, you've got happy times like weddings <laughs> and then the slightly more sad times of funerals. And it's those times where people are connected by the music they hear. Look, my point is, music's all around us and it's in all of our stories. And I let it into my story through piano, whether it's classical, music I want to use an example of a, um, a, f a famous singer who did a rendition of a song in the Brit Awards in 2011, if that gives the game away. I don't know if you um, know who I'm talking about yet. And the raw emotions that she put into her song, just I think the words were, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Music can get across so many feelings, um, and so sadly I can't sing along. And I'm going to use that as my excuse that you don't always need words to show the power behind, <laughs> behind music. Um, so I hope you recognize this one. That's just an extract from Someone Like You by Adele, one of my favorite pieces by her. So... Everyone can appreciate music, even deaf people, they can hear the vibrations and they can feel the bass running through them. And music can get across what you want to say, even if you can't find the words. There's something about that phrase in Nouveau Bianche by Naldi that just arouses so many feelings of sadness and worry and pain and longing. Okay, not very happy, but I like playing it. And I think, well, my mum asked me when I was learning, she said, how does that piece make you feel? And I said, that's a really good question. I didn't know. I, I mean, the amount of times I had to use like and um to get across what I meant and doing just what I'm doing now with half-finished sentences shows that trying to find the words to pinpoint what it is about a piece of music that speaks to you, well, it's impossible. I mean, if you manage it, let me know, because I've been trying since I was five, and I still haven't got there yet. Um, so I wonder what you heard when I played that piece. What memories did it provoke? What things did it did pop into your mind? I'm sure it's not going to be the same as mine, um, as what I heard, but the fact that it's different doesn't mean that I'm right and you're all wrong. It just means that we can have really good discussions about the differences in which we see music. So how I view it as personal to me and how you view it as personal to you, we can share, and I think that's just magic. When I am stressed, piano is definitely my outlet. It's something I do when I've had a tough day at school and I sit back and I'm like, well, I need to take my emotions out of something and I don't think my parents would appreciate me shouting at them. Um, the, the intensity of a particular phrase when I finished it just 
drains me of the angst, and the anger which has no recipient has an outlet. And I mean, after I've played a particularly tough phrase, I feel very exhausted and sleepy, but not in a bad way. I, I feel pleased that I've managed to get whatever's bugging me off my chest. And if the piano could talk, the stories it would tell of me beating the keys till I can't even hear my own thoughts. But in a way, it can talk. Even if I'm not the one saying it, the way in which I play shows the emotions that I'm feeling. So if my parents know I'm attacking the piano, they know to give me space. And that's been very apparent around the particularly exam period at the moment. With my piano teacher, we discuss a lot about how the music makes us feel, um, the pieces that I'm learning. And recently, I've been learning Jan Tiersen pieces. And I'd come back, and I'd come back from a piano lesson. My mum would say, how was it? Did you have a good session? And I said, it was great. We were talking about this. We were talking about the chords. And she said, talking? Aren't I paying her, paying her to teach you? I said, oh, that's a technicality. That's not the point. Um, because being able to talk about music is so important. And with the Jan Tiersen pieces, we would discuss things like the crunchiness of the chords. Or the flowing waves of the left hand. Basically, we sound rather pretentious about the whole thing. <laughs> but I don't, I don't care enough to stop. Trying to find the words to vocalise the effect that music has on me and people in general isn't something, like I said before, I'll ever perfect, but it's something that I enjoy doing. And the reason that I'll never be able to capture the music in, in, a, in a phrase is because it constantly alters. It changes to fit the culture and the changing generations. But, you know, some things remain known to generations past. <laughs> Definitely a hit by the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun, um, a lovely piece. Last year, I I'd painted a canvas, and on that canvas was this quote. If I were not a physicist, I would probably be a musician. I th often think in music. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. And I love that quote. That's why I put it on my wall. Um, and that's by Einstein. So apart from the bit about the physics, I find this so relatable. I could sit for hours in front of my piano playing, this, playing the same piece over and over again to annoy my family, or a page from a dozen different books. It's amazing how many doors music op op has opened up for me. Music just fits into my life. It's a defining part of me and my story. And I hope that this has inspired at least one person in this room to search for a new genre, um, maybe try a new instrument, or just pay that little bit more attention to the backing track of a film or a program or even an advert. Our thoughts and our memories are what makes us, us. And music allows your thoughts to flow. Music can create memories. Music is within us all. And on that note, thank you.